Torque Element opens with a moment every electric vehicle owner fears. You roll into a charging station long after the sun has set, your battery warning flashing red, your vehicle sitting at barely 5%. You feel that quiet, stubborn worry that only adults who have been through life's unpredictability truly understand. The worry that tonight, time is not on your side. You plug in, step inside the convenience store for a quick coffee, and before the steam has even settled in the cup, you walk back out to find your battery sitting at a full charge, ready to deliver nearly 250 miles of range. No waiting, no uncertainty, no compromise. For most people over 35, this sounds like a fantasy. Technology has limits, chemistry has rules, progress takes decades. Yet right now, Tesla is preparing to break those limits with the upcoming Model 2, and Elon Musk is taking one of the most radical bets in the history of the company. Not a software update, not a motor redesign, not some booster pack or range extender, something deeper, something that rewrites the entire concept of what an electric vehicle battery can be. Aluminum ion technology, a battery that shifts the question from how far can I go to how fast can I refuel. And if the early data holds, this breakthrough might not just change Tesla. It might erase the last meaningful objection that drivers have about owning an electric vehicle. Over the next few minutes, we are going to step through four dimensions of this technology. Not the hype, not the marketing, but the real mathematics, the real chemistry, and the real consequences. If you are someone who values understanding over noise, clarity over drama, and facts over fanfare. Consider joining our community as we push toward our next goal of 2,000 subscribers. Now let's slow the packing down and examine something that has been overlooked in nearly every discussion about aluminum ion batteries. The first question the engineers inside Tesla are asking is deceptively simple. How long can this battery last? Lithium ion cells today are impressive averaging between 2,000 and 3,000 full cycles before noticeable capacity fade. For most drivers, that translates into roughly half a million miles of driving. It is a figure that already dwarfs the lifespan of most internal combustion drivetrains. But aluminum ion aims to surpass this in a way that is almost uncomfortable to believe. Initial projections suggest endurance close to 10,000 full cycles. That is not a 10% improvement. That is not even a doubling. It is a quadrupling of the usable lifespan. Put into real-world terms, a Model 2 with a range rating of roughly 250 miles would be capable of traveling more than 2.5 million miles before chemistry-driven degradation becomes meaningfully measurable. That is not vehicle longevity. It is generational longevity. It is a battery that could outlast multiple cars built around it. Imagine a world where the most expensive single component in your vehicle is no longer a time bomb ticking quietly beneath the floor. Right now, three years into ownership, most Tesla drivers see battery health dip to roughly 92%. That 8% loss is baked directly into resale values and drops market confidence. Buyers of used electric vehicles are not just comparing features. They are calculating risk. How much life is left in those cells? How soon before thermal stability decreases? How long until replacement becomes necessary? But a battery rated for 10,000 cycles shatters those concerns. The average driver typically uses around 50 cycles per year. At that pace, 10,000 cycles translate into two centuries of theoretical use. Even aggressive drivers pushing 100 cycles per year barely touch one century of utilization. That number is obviously beyond the lifespan of the vehicle, or the owner, which means the battery becomes effectively immortal within the ownership window. And when the main limiting component becomes functionally immortal, the entire vehicle value structure changes. Think about fleet operations. Think about rideshare drivers covering 70 plus thousand miles per year. A gasoline vehicle under that workload burns through transmissions, engines, and emission systems rapidly. A lithium ion electric vehicle lasts longer but still reaches meaningful degradation at around the seven year mark. But aluminum ion in that same scenario, 
That battery does not degrade at its seven-year milestone. It does not degrade at 15 years. It keeps going for three decades. The implications ripple into environmental impact as well. Roughly 35 to 40% of an electric vehicle's lifetime carbon footprint is tied to battery production. If that battery lasts five times longer, then its environmental cost per mile is reduced by a factor of five. Suddenly, the green advantage of electric vehicles jumps forward dramatically. The used market stabilizes. Residual values rise. Buyer anxiety collapses. This is the kind of innovation that, if actualized at scale, becomes a before and after moment in automotive history, a cultural shift as significant as the transition from carburetors to fuel injection or from analog controls to digital ones. And it leads us to a question for you, the viewer. If a battery genuinely offered century-class lifespan, would you keep your vehicle for 20 years or more? Or would you still prefer to switch every few years? Your answer shapes the future market Tesla is aiming to serve. Now the conversation takes an unexpected turn because longevity is only one half of the equation. Energy density, how much energy you can pack into a kilogram of battery, has dominated public debates for more than a decade. Lithium-ion has held an advantage here with pack level densities between 250 and 270 watt hours per kilogram. Aluminum ion, based on early estimates, sits closer to 160 to 200 watt hours per kilogram. In simple language, aluminum ion stores less energy per kilogram. Less energy means less range. A 50 kilowatt hour aluminum ion pack stores perhaps 8 to 10 kilowatt hours less than its lithium counterpart. That translates into around 30 to 40 fewer miles of driving range. Under normal thinking, this is a fatal disadvantage, but aluminum ion does not follow the normal rules. Energy density only matters if charging is slow. When you are forced to sit at a charger for 30 or 40 minutes, every extra mile of range helps minimize frustration. But what happens when you can refill your battery in 10 minutes? What happens when recharging becomes as trivial and routine as stopping for a cup of coffee? Many of us over the age of 35 remember the early years of smartphones, the days when you carried an external battery or turned your brightness down just to make it to the evening. Those phones had large batteries not because the user needed them, but because charging was inconvenient. But when fast charging became standard, battery anxiety disappeared. Phones did not need massive reserves. They only needed enough power to last until the next quick top-up. The same psychological shift is about to happen in electric vehicles. A Model 2 with aluminum ion cells may have 30 fewer miles of range, but that difference becomes trivial when you can restore the entire pack in 10 minutes. On long road trips, the calculus becomes even more striking. Imagine traveling from Los Angeles to San Francisco, a journey of approximately 380 miles. A current long-range lithium-ion Tesla would need one stop of roughly 25 minutes. A Model 2 running aluminum-ion would need two stops, but at 10 minutes each. Your total stop time becomes 20 minutes instead of 25. Less energy density, faster total travel. This is why aluminum-ion becomes counterintuitive. It is not about storing more energy. It is about refilling energy so quickly that the need for storage decreases. Charging station throughput also increases dramatically. A station with eight stalls can push through 16 vehicles per hour at 30-minute charge times. Cut that down to 10 minutes, and suddenly that same station handles 48 vehicles per hour, without building a single new charging stall. The question becomes personal. If you could eliminate charging anxiety entirely, if you could recharge your vehicle fully in the time it takes to use the restroom, would you trade 30 miles of range for that luxury? For many mature drivers with families, schedules, and responsibilities, time is the currency that matters most, and aluminum ion offers time. The third dimension is economics, and for anyone over 35 managing a household budget, this is where things become very real. Aluminum is one of the most abundant metals on Earth, with global production drives 37 miles per day. 
a Model 2 could operate for nearly a full week between charges. Even compared with the Chevy Bolt or the Tesla Model 3 standard range, the difference amounts to a single extra commute. In day-to-day -day reality, that is not a deal-breaker. What matters is how quickly the battery refills. 10-minute charging transforms the Model 2 from a compromise to a strategic engineering decision. Vehicles like the Hyundai Ioniq 6 may offer 300-plus miles of range, but they cannot refuel in 10 minutes. Lucid vehicles may hit over 400 miles, but they still require long charging windows. The Model 2 reframes the competition, not by going farther but by replenishing faster, not by maximizing storage but by minimizing downtime. For the first time since electric vehicles entered mainstream discussion, Tesla may have found a way to surpass the internal combustion engine not by matching it, but by outperforming it on the dimension that matters most to busy adults, speed of refueling. As for the timeline, the Model 2 is expected to arrive in 2026. That gives us roughly 12 to 18 months to discover whether aluminum ion batteries will scale, stabilize, and deliver on their extraordinary promise. If they do, Tesla may dominate the next decade. If they do not, this could become the boldest gamble in the company's history. And that brings us to the final emotional note, the sense that we are watching a moment in technological history that is not just about electric vehicles, but about societal transition. The transition from unstable resource chains to abundant ones. From long waiting times to instantaneous refueling. From batteries treated as disposable assets to batteries designed to outlive the cars around them. This is more than a technical shift. It is a cultural shift, one that redefines what ownership, reliability, longevity, and convenience mean for a world that is ready to move forward. Thank you for watching. Torque Element will continue bringing you inside the factories, the chemistry labs, the testing facilities, and the engineering decisions shaping your future vehicle. Stay tuned for the next update.